What is up, y'all, and welcome back to the video. So we're going to have a lot of hot takes in this video, but before we get into it, I just want to let you guys know what's going on in the background. So this is an F1 and NASCAR joint video, and in the background, I am making four custom cars, one for Lance Stroll, Lando Norris, Max Verstappen, and Lewis Hamilton, because I'm going to be starting a season series on this uh, called What If, insert driver here, was a nascar driver so you guys get to pick is the fun part i'm gonna leave a comment in the comment section for each of the four drivers you're gonna like the one that you want and i'm gonna take the one that has the most likes and we're gonna make a series out of it so uh make sure you like the comment down below like the video as well make sure you subscribe if you haven't so you don't miss that series and also, I apologize that these schemes are not the best. The NASCAR paint booth is terrible. So I'm just, I'm doing my best. They don't really look anything like their F1 paint scheme, but I'm doing my best. And so, you know, let me know your suggestions for how you think I should do it as well. Like sponsors, all that stuff. Let me know. But with that being said, you know, let's get into the actual topic of this video. So as most of you guys know, um... EA has bought out Codemasters for over a billion dollars in a huge acquisition that's probably going to shake up the industry of racing games for the foreseeable future. And I know a lot of people have had differing opinions on it and stuff, but honestly, this is an interesting move. A lot of people have said that you know there won't be any changes, at least in 2021, but in future games... It's debated whether, you know, we'll see EA's actual influence or if they're just using it to try to profit, you know. So, it'll be interesting to see. EA has made racing games before, of course. They've made, you know, NASCAR games, obviously. But Codemasters, if you don't know, is the F1 manufacturer of games and the Dirt Series games. So, that'll definitely be interesting to see. Um, I know I'm a couple days late on that news, but the news of that isn't even really what I want to talk about because as you guys know, I am mostly a NASCAR channel. So while that is very interesting uh, that that happened, I want to talk about the ramifications and possibilities of EA returning to making NASCAR games and a potential buyout of motorsport games. So this is not, you know, slated or in the cards or anything. I'm just discussing the possibility because with EA dipping their foot back into the racing scene, you know, there's actually a possibility for this. It's maybe not a high possibility, but there is a chance that down the fu in the future we could see EA buying motorsport games. Now, this is where I kind of want to inject my opinion and thoughts onto this. And this is where the hot takes are going to come in. So settle down. This is just my opinion. Let's not all get heated. Let's keep it respectful. But with that being said, I want to talk about this. Now, as most of you guys probably know, NASCAR Heat Games are produced by 704 Games, which is a subsidiary. Oh my goodness. Whew. Let me back to track. 704 Games is a subsidiary of motorsport games wow that was horrendous but so basically motorsport games is their parent company i believe that they produce other games besides nascar games but i could be wrong um as you guys know ea produced every nascar game from around 1998 to 2009 so they have experience with NASCAR games. They kind of, at the end, started like waning in their interest. NASCAR 08, NASCAR 09 were not very good games. It was sold to Eutechnics, and then eventually we got 704 games. So they definitely have experience, and well, most of the games during that are considered like some of the best NASCAR games of all time, like 2004, 2003, 2005. Uh, even like some really like 2007 um that is a completely different ea sports than what we're at now so well that is true i think that a buyout from ea sports could potentially be the best thing to happen to nascar video games in a long time now you can say i'm looking through rose tinted glasses or whatever you want 
and I probably am a little bit, to be fair. However, a lot of the problems with NASCAR Heat are completely circumstantial and could be easily fixed by a AAA developer, right? And I say that for a couple reasons. One of the main ones being, you know, NASCAR games right now are in a bit of a tough spot because 704 Games is absolutely trying their best. There's no question about that. However, I believe they only have 17 employees, and 17 employees to put out a NASCAR game is a bit difficult. So I definitely think that we should give them some grace. I don't think getting rid of 704 games is the right way to go. But I do think if EA stepped into the picture and you know bought up this company, they could pour even a little bit more resources in it. Because let's be honest, a NASCAR game would not be at the top of their list of priorities. But if they even poured a little bit more resources into it, I think we could see a new golden age of NASCAR games, right? And the first step to that could honestly be the acquisition of Codemasters and more importantly F1 games. Because the F1 game is very successful, you know. F1 is by far the most popular motorsport in the world. Um, and their game is just truly incredible. The my team aspect of that game is one of the best, if not the best, racing game mode we've ever seen. And if that game does continues to do well under EA, which it no doubt will, EA could be looking to reach more into the motorsport market and potentially pick up the second largest motorsport in the world. Uh, which is NASCAR, or at least the biggest motorsport in the United States, which is where EA Sports is based. So I think that this could just be, you know, not just a stepping stone, obviously, but I think this could be the first step towards getting EA back in, or NASCAR back in EA's hands, which honestly could be a good thing. You know, you can make all the jokes you want about, you know, like, NASCAR Ultimate Team, or paywalls to take a pit stop, or paywalls to qualify, any of that stuff. But in all reality, if this is the best case scenario, in my opinion, EA acquires Codemasters. That's step one. The game continues to do well and flourish, you know, and they they keep going. They listen to Codemasters. You get your ultimate, or you get your my team all that stuff, you know, and if they want to make some money off it, whatever, that sucks, it's basically a given though, so I, I think you just got to expect that with an EA game, however, you know, it, they, they keep going successful, eventually down the line, EA sees a profit in this, and they decide to buy out Motorsport Games, Motorsport Games, you know, they become a asset of EA, and EA takes samples from F1 and applies them to NASCAR, you know, driver transfers, my team, all of that stuff, it, it could become a pro, or like, you know, a possibility and a real thing if EA acquires NASCAR. Now, is that a guarantee? Absolutely not. Could this just be done by motorsport games even without... Uh, EA's involvement, absolutely, absolutely it could be, but with 17 employees, I don't see that happening, and honestly, this is the trajectory that I feel we're on, this is going to be a downer take, and so I apologize, I like to stay positive in my videos, but this is going to be a bit of a downer take. With the PS5 releasing, and you know, obviously NASCAR games rebranding, they're not even going to be called Heat Games anymore. They're getting a completely new engine and rebuilding the game from the ground up. So, well, I think that that could be an excellent thing down the line. The next NASCAR game, in all reality, is probably going to suck. And that's not a fault of 704 games, but having to build a new engine or at least use a new engine to build your game in, with only 17 people, it's just not a recipe for success, which really sucks because 704 Games is a good company, and I want to see them succeed, but they just need a little bit of push, and honestly, 
I think that an EA buyout could be that push. So with that being said, that's about all I got for you guys. I hope you guys are having a blessed and safe day. I apologize that this was just an absolutely hot take of a video. But I hope you guys are having a great day. With that being said, this has been Decaf Dr. Thunder. And I will see you guys next time.